morning everyone happy vlogmas day 19 i'm still feeling like crap so i don't feel well i'm gonna go to the lock-in clinic and see if i have like bronchitis or a sinus infection from having influenza i literally just like can't shake these symptoms no matter how much dayquil and everything i take like i think it's an infection at this point so I just don't feel very well. I am not contagious anymore. I've been sick for well over a week. I just feel sick. I have a 7 a.m. patient. I think it's a, it's a left knee. I have a lash appointment after work. My friend Taylor is the one who does my lashes, so I'm so excited to get them back on. I need to go find some Dayquil in one of my bags here. One of you asked me to do a what's in my bag video for work. This is all I bring to work. It's literally just my like purse that I bring everywhere. Just my Lulu Bell bag, but I don't bring anything crazy to work. I usually just leave it here because I have a little basket. On the days when I bring this, it's usually if I need a change of clothes. So in here today, I just have my leggings and a sweatshirt. So that's all that's in there. I am gonna go wash my cup, get some water, and then get going for the day. Just like new. Good morning everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Vlogmas Day 20. Apologies for my voice, but I'm still recovering. I'm on antibiotics and prednisone, so hopefully I'm on the mend from all of this stuff. I got to work at 6.30 this morning. I slept terribly last night. I feel like I was up every 30 minutes coughing so I feel like I didn't get hardly any rest at all um, so we'll need some caffeine today and definitely a nap I have a 7 a.m. knee patient this morning it looks like we have a kind of busy schedule today so I'm just looking at our schedule and I'm gonna protocol some of them and just make sure that they're scheduled correctly because sometimes things can get slipped through the cracks so I am just going to check this out and then Hopefully my patient will be here because it's 6.45. I'm also gonna wipe down everything in here, so let's do that. Just got home from work. It is so cold out. 
I think it's like negative 15 degrees right now, but anyway, I got off at three and then I went to Target. I had two order pickups. I've never seen Target so busy in my entire life. I don't know what the hell is going on, but literally every single order pickup spot was taken, every single one. And the line to get into the order pickup was like 10 cars long. So I'm like, I'm going inside and picking it up. I don't care how cold it is. So I went and got my Target order. <clears throat> and then I wanted to show you guys what I bring to work because somebody asked me to do a what's in my work bag. I only bring this on the days when I have to like change into something or if I'm like bringing my meds cause I'm on <laughs> three different medications right now for my influenza issues. So I bring those in my little bag here and I have a bag of tissues and a feminine product. That's literally all that's in here. And then when I leave work, I put my coffee cup in there. So that's all I bring. I bring this with me pretty much everywhere I go. Of course, I'm sure you all know where it's from. It's a Lulu fanny pack, and it's one of the older ones that has like the black zipper, but it's super tarnished now, so it looks gold. I have my vaccination card, a hair tie, an old lash spoolie, a nail file, a hair tie, a glasses cleaner, an old receipt. I should probably be cleaning this out. And then in the main one, the very front has two little pockets. I bring my AirPods with me pretty much everywhere that I go. And then I just have my work keys. And when it's not freezing cold out and I don't have to start my car, I usually keep my keys in there. And then I have a uh, Arnold Palmer half and half. Summer Friday's uh, vanilla lip butter balm. And the Too Faced Lip Injections Extreme Gloss. And then in this very back pocket, I have this little pouch, which is from the Cozumel Airport. It's just like a little macrame knit type of vibe and i just keep my daily meds in there and then i have my itty bitty wallet so that's what's in my work bag i bring hardly anything because i keep it all there which is nice winnie is sleeping on the floor it's so cute If you saw Vlogmas from the other day, I showed that I'm doing a little cheese board for a white elephant gift. So I got the board for $18. These were like three. I think this was six and this was like maybe two. So I just thought I would get like a little spread for the cheese board. And then I'm also going to get some cheese knives, but I have to go to home goods for that. And that's not happening today. I might just have to omit that entire idea because I couldn't find them on target. They were all sold out. And then I got these for my mom. I also showed that I got her somewhere back here i got her this ice roller because i love my ice roller so i wanted to get her like a little duo and then i'm getting her a gift card to her esthetician that she goes to see for facials and stuff so this is a little gift for my mom here is the cheese board if you didn't see it that vlog i also need to find some cheeses so i'll probably go to aldi for that because they have a lot of like inexpensive kind of unique cheeses so i'm probably going to do that one of these days here my mom's dermatologist recommended this lotion for really like dry skin and legs and you put it on right after the shower this is the vanna cream moisturizing cream for sensitive skin so i wanted this one because it has the pump i have so many lotions and i just feel like none of them help my skin like my knuckles are so bad right now because it's obviously so cold and i wear my gloves everywhere and it still is just horrible also, I'm an idiot and I don't know why I didn't realize something sticky. I don't know why I didn't realize that Nespresso has like Starbucks pods at Target. So I saw this on a TikTok actually and I wanted to give them a try. So I got the blonde roast and I got the one that's the 7.7 .7 fluid ounce toasted malt and baking chocolate notes. So these are, I think this is more of like an actual coffee. The ones I have from actual Nespresso are like a curated drink by baristas on their website so they already have flavoring in them but this one i don't feel as guilty adding cream or two but the espresso ones are just very strong and very bitter some of them are but i really like the vanilla custard pie and the caramel cookie one from nespresso the hazelino muffin is just a little too bitter for me i'll still drink it but it's just like i need to add extra milk to it and then a little bit of flavoring so anyway also got some restocks on my laundry stuff because they had some sales on their website and I needed it anyway. 
or on their app, not their website. So that's the Target haul. And I still have some gifts that I need to purchase, but when are we gonna do that? Probably have to do it tomorrow after work. I hate gift shopping. <laughs> Hi everyone, it is 9.07 and I just got back from my parents' house. I actually just made dinner over there. Since I got off at 3, I wasn't feeling very well still, so Winnie and I took a nap on the couch and then I woke up maybe at like 7. My mom got off of work and then she told me she was going to Home Goods, and I, since I didn't feel well, I was like, you know what, can you just look for cheese knives for me? Because I'm just not in the mood to like go to Home Goods and stand in line and stuff. So since she was already there, she was so sweet and she found some little cheese knives for my... Um, white elephant gift so glad that got crossed off the list i'm gonna shower also i didn't really talk about my lashes yesterday i did get my lashes done and i'm really excited to have them again i know some people have their opinions about lashes and i personally like lashes if you don't like them that's totally fine they make me happy so i get them and no harm no foul if you guys want to go see taylor she is the best she is so incredible i love her to death she is the sweetest human alive so if you're in my area and you want to go see taylor she does waxes lashes brows um facials she is the best and i think she's going to start doing microblading possibly in the new year so so i'm very excited for her she actually made a code for when her and i did a little facial collaboration so if you guys want to go get any service done with her you can use the code julia for some money off taylor's literally the best person ever she is one of my really good friends so highly recommend going to her and i'm not just saying that i love her to death i've had four different lash girls and chef's kiss taylor's the best I need a shower and I'm gonna lay in bed. I did not sleep well last night at all. I literally think I got two hours of sleep last night. I was up seriously every 30 minutes coughing and then I'm also on prednisone, which has a side effect of insomnia. So I didn't sleep for shit last night and I feel like garbage today, which is why I took a nap. But I do have another 7 a.m. patient tomorrow, so I have to be to work again tomorrow at 6.30. So I do wanna get in bed at a decent time because last night was just terrible let's shower do some skincare and i just realized i left this open so sorry vlogmas is almost done you guys that's insane and i know i didn't do the best like i know i did two lives a couple days and i know i did i did like three vlogs that were cumulative but i'm proud of myself for actually keeping up with it and not giving up like seven days in so Pat on the back for me. This was my first vlogmas actually doing daily vlogging. It definitely got me back into the habit of vlogging after taking so much time off of just like not feeling like myself the last year. So I'm really happy I did vlogmas. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna shower. If you see me wearing this PJ set all the time, no you didn't. <laughs> I'm just doing my skincare right now. I use the Skin Cycling Method from Dr. Whitney Bow. She's a dermatologist. Um, she doesn't have any specific products that she like recommends necessarily, but just the type of product. So I have been sticking to this very consistently for probably a month, two months. I would say like before I went to Arizona for Halloween is when I kind of started all of it. But my skin is amazing right now, you guys. I'm obsessed with how everything is looking right now and I'm very, very happy and pleased. So if you guys want me to do like a full skincare routine, I would be more than happy to, but I just want people to like recognize that everyone's skin is so different and just because something worked for me doesn't mean it will work for other people. So I would be so happy to do that for you guys, but I just want to know um, how much you guys would be interested in that. Um, I definitely would do it after Vlogmas is over. I kind of like the concept of daily vlogging during Vlogmas rather than like uploading a sit down video. So. Not that a skincare routine is a sit-down video, but anyway. Oh, I am tired. I need to retint my eyebrows soon. They are looking janky. I got a couple things in the mail from Amazon as well today. Both inspired by Alex Earl. I've even shocked. Love her. I got these little, like, spongy cotton things. I don't know. They're, like, really velvety and soft. But she uses these to apply her powder, so I got these. And then I also purchased the freckles stuff that she uses. I don't have freckles, but I think they're so cute. I don't know, we'll give it a try. I switch up my products, seriously, so much. 
There was this one from Eva or Ava NYC and I really liked it, but I just ran out of it. And I just purchased stuff from Ulta too in a couple of videos ago. So I'll just have to hold off until I need some more stuff because I just hate ordering one thing at a time or like picking up only one thing at a time just because it's such a drive and literally the stores are so busy right now. It's just not a fan fave. I got this little Bumble and Bumble hairdresser invisible oil and I like it, but the bottle, the mini bottle I should say, leaks so badly. I wonder if the actual like bigger bottle of the oil does the same thing. Cause if that's the case, that's really disappointing because that shit's expensive. I'm gonna let my hair air dry for a little bit. I think I'm just gonna lay in bed and edit and then I'm gonna come in and just blow dry my hair straight. I'm not in the mood to do the whole air wrap situation, so. Happy Vlogmas day 21. We are getting down to the wire. I'm at work this morning for a 7 a.m. patient. I got here at 6.30 and it's 6.45, so they should be getting here soon. For CT, we have to run like a daily um, checkup, I guess. So that's a daily thing that we have to run in the mornings. And then on Mondays, we do like an air calibration for it because we shut down the scanner over the weekend for um, CT. So I started that. It usually takes about 15 minutes to run the daily. I'm probably gonna go run the daily phantom that we do and then hopefully my patient will be here by then. I literally had to fall asleep on the couch last night with the TV on and I slept at least like three and a half hours. I literally feel like that scene from Elf where she's like, did you sleep okay last night? Oh yeah, I got a full 45 minutes and I had time to build that rocking horse. Like I don't feel tired, but I know I'm tired because I literally only slept three and a half hours. But I woke up at five and then went back to my bed and just kind of like laid there until my alarms went off. I showed me doing the CTQA yesterday, so I guess I can show it again. I'll show it again, why not? neglecting the advent calendar so one day i got this really cute headband it was like this really pretty green headband loved that and then this is the body shop body butter in shea yum smells so good and then another shower gel this is the mango scent and a british rose petal soft hand cream got off of work about an hour ago and then i went and grabbed winnie from my parents house my grandma is in town for christmas and um yeah, just a hi to her. Now I'm going to take a shower and take a nap. I only got three hours of sleep last night. I literally fell asleep on the couch at two in the morning because I just could not sleep in my own bed. I don't know, like prednisone is great and everything because it makes you like feel so much better, but the insomnia it gives me is extreme. I'm wide awake during the day because I take prednisone in the morning, but just carries on throughout the whole day. So unfortunately, I have not been getting much sleep lately, so I haven't been editing the vlogs, but 
I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna meet up with my friend Gabby and we're just going to grab dinner and drinks at this little bar and um, then I'm gonna come home and just probably relax. I have another 7 a.m. patient tomorrow so I'll get off at three o'clock and then we just have Friday left and then it's Christmas Eve, which is insane. I can't believe it. So I'm gonna do a body shower, wash my face and then take a nap because I'm tired. Okay, this is the outfit that I settled on. These are literally like the only jeans that I ever wear, but they're from Abercrombie. And then I'm just wearing this annoying top from Zara and this longer kind of plaid jacket is from Princess Polly and I'm too lazy to switch my bag. So got the Lulu fanny pack and uh, Annalise necklace and rings. Let's go, Winnie.